Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. The process is swift. Filled with peace. It is a safe place here. The higher self of my partner and I, the group called Cryon, meld. And as we have said before many times, it is not quantifiable. The human being wants to say, who are you and where you're from? And the answer is yes. You cannot count those things that are uncountable. You cannot ask where something is from when it is everywhere all the time. It's no secret that I come from the other side of the veil. So that's what you might say. And yet even that is not definable. For the veil is a perception and not a reality. For there are those walking the earth that have each foot on either side. It's not actually a veil, is it? It's a vibratory rate. And where are you there? This message is quick and is sweet and is for those in the room. It is not filled with profundities of prophecy. It is not going to tell you what is going to occur. It's not possible for us to give you that. For you are the ones that will create it. Instead, it's a reminder of who you are and who God is in the scheme of things. And so we want you to remember. I'm going to give you some statements and some facts. And I want you to believe it. This is not the human being speaking. It never is. And yet I must use all of the parts of his intellect, of his mind, of his language in order to give you these things. In channeling, it always requires the filter of the human being to deliver the message. And since the actual messages that are direct without humanity are far and few between, if at all, it means that all of the channeling you have ever heard is delivered through the filter of the human being. And so we seek out old souls to channel. Not all who channel are old souls. Therefore, there are some who are not channeling who say they are. And you can tell. All you have to do is raise the intuition antenna. That's a metaphor for your own power of discernment. Do you feel it? Is it filled with love? Let us ask you to do things you wouldn't normally do. Is it fear based? Is it frightening? Or do you feel it's from home? These are the questions to ask. You can ask them now. Even as you hear this voice and this process, which has taken my partner 20 years to linearize, he becomes a translator from a multi-dimensional state to one that has only one digit. 
it has taken him years to take that confluence of energy which is a package delivered to him as a soup and train us to squeeze it into a box that is linear so it can be delivered in real time as you hear it now and when he started it was not this way and now it is so his filter has come from a place of wisdom as an old soul he like some of you have been warriors he like some of you have been in the same battles he like all of you have been multiple genders part of the system that brings you to the chair today blessed is the human being who searches for the divine inside who cares enough about who they are to find themselves in a place like this listening all day long trying to work the puzzle all day long the laughter the tears all totally and completely appropriate that's just part of it and at the end of the day which is now for you I want to put the dessert topping on this I want you just to suspend all of your issues and your problems and everything that is academic and I want you to float with me just for a moment and you can come back I want to take you to the beginning of the universe the universe as you know it has always existed just like God always existed if there is no time that means there is no beginning and there is no end God is that way if you are a piece of God you are that way it is true that as you reside in your corporeal bodies you do not have the full influence of the Creator you have only enough to sustain that which is your higher self and the rest of it is spread with us now we have given you that information before and the portal is the higher self as you increase the vibration of the higher self more of that peace of God which is you enters when you are on the other side of the veil which is my side you cannot be counted you do not have a name other than the one we sing in light it is difficult for me to tell you you are not singular with one name and one face you are part of that which is the collective of splendor you are that which creates light the universe always was multiverses are present all around you they pass through you it would be wrong for us to say that they were multi-dimensional they are beyond that they are things you have not seen yet you don't feel them they exist at the same time you exist each one of them is in a specific kind of physics yours is more or less 3 to 4 D more or less for there are different parts of this universe which you look at which are not like you when the membranes of the multi-dimensional universes meet and collide they create another universe and that was your Big Bang as far back as you want to look indeed you will see an event the residual of the event is measurable by astronomers it was the beginning of your universe so long ago in linearity it staggers the mind to think about it I was there and so were you
when the universe was hot, expanding and spinning, when the cataclysms that would eventually cool, which would include Earth, were still in their infancy, you were there. The billions of your years it took for the Earth to cool had a purpose. Not only the creation of life, not only the creation of the human being at the 11th hour, but also to allow for the majority of those pieces of rock which would circle in the orbit of your solar system to find their final settling place which meant the earth would be hit a number of times until it was over and there would only be a few that explains why it took so long because one large meteor strike on this planet would terminate you and that is not what the potentials are had you shown up earlier it would have been as short ago of the dinosaur era they were still coming in and hitting the planet they all had to be exhausted settle down find their final orbit which was not yours for you to exist now let me tell you this is the truth look at your history this is when the human started to be developed does it seem to be accidental that this planet of you yours which which was so volatile for so long is so benevolent now and I would like to tell you something human being this is by design and the reason is that God loves you the benevolent one who created the universe and you were there loves you five six billion years ago God loves you in the blink of an eye you are here on the planet that truly is in test not to see if you're good or bad but to see what you will do with the secret you carry inside can you find it can you plant the seeds can you create peace can you graduate into an abundant planet and if you can and when you do you like the Pleiadians will pass it to another planet and this is a part of a system where pieces and parts of God make decisions without their knowing they are parts of God in order to set energies of the next generation of earths billions more years will occur there will be other earths and in linearity you look at yours and you say well there'll come a time when we will we will be snuffed out perhaps and there will be a supernova perhaps and this and that and this and that and you say it will be millions and millions of years so we won't worry about it now that's what the Pleiadians thought and they're still there it's a bigger plan than you know life is bigger than you know astronomers with limited tools on this tiny little ball called earth look out into the heavens as best they can they can look all the way back to the big bang and see things that are billions of years old through clever light collection they can measure the speed that matter is moving away from matter and wonder how it all works but as they look at it they're starting to realize something there is a system there is a plan and they all know the secret that they rarely speak about the more they know the more they realize there had to be a designer for it is not random it is biased for life 
That is because God loves you. The Creator is you. And in that design, there is benevolence. There is purpose. Astronomers call it intelligent design. And not acknowledgement by science. It is totally out of the purview of randomness. Against all odds, here you are. Against all odds, humanity developed at the best time possible. After all, the asteroids and the meteors were done. Against all odds, the earth is now quiet. And you might say, well, not really. Look at all of the tsunamis and the volcanoes. Dear ones, that's quiet. You should have seen it before. <laughs> Some of the mountains that you admire literally came up out of the ground overnight. Can you imagine? Oceans that you look at coming and going in a matter of hundreds of years from one level to another. Imagine the ground upheavaling thousands of feet and then going back down in literally 300 years. Can you imagine the forces at work that would create something so volatile? There's nothing like that. And there's not going to be. The earth moves now in increments. The continents still move around. They will continue incrementally, measurable. You even know where the most prone spots are for the movement. There are many who choose to live there. That's their issue. <laughs> the more science knows, the more they will be able to measure the potentials of the dangerous spots on the planet. Human free will is always there. Spirit has given you invention. I talked about that last night. You're going to receive more and more earth science in these next 10 years. Figuring out things you never thought you'd be able to figure out. Processes will start to be seen. Weather prediction will get better. Warning systems for storms get better. There will be those who make suggestions about the mandatory construction of shelters everywhere where you can get to safety within minutes no matter where you are where you live it'll start to make sense it will be funded it will be appropriate and proper it will save lives it's a benevolent spirit that is part of this and evolving earth. The weather shifts you see all part of the life renewal cycle before it's time, by the way, for the population of the planet. What many have called doom and gloom is a rejuvenation and recalibration of life on earth for one reason, to feed you, to love you, to be part of the graduate earth that you are planting seeds for. Generations will occur. You've got 18 more years to plant seeds. You've got a lot longer than that for them to grow. But you are the seed planters, the match bearers, the ones who care enough about themselves to sit in the chairs all day and ask the question, what do I need to know? Dear Spirit, tell me what it is. And some of you will come with intuition and leave differently than you came and others will have seeds planted in you that are spiritual. That won't grow until you water them. And that may be never. Or it might be tomorrow. That's free choice. You cannot unknow anything you heard today. There is no delete button in your brain. That is seed planting. And if you choose to use it, you may begin 
now. If you choose to wait in disbelief, you are blessed. There's no judgment. It is your free choice. It is part of the puzzle. And that is why we see you all the same. We always have parts of us. The universe expanded. And we were there to watch. I see all dimensionalities. I hear symphonies of light. Embedded in each one of you is a remembrance tune. And sometimes it sings when you're asleep. And it's God. Spirit. Creator. Vibrating the atomic structure. Saying remember who you are. These are true. All that I'm saying is real. And if you take the snapshot over hundreds of years, if not thousands, you will see how this time is different from any other. Humans don't like change. There were those who sit around and wish that it was like it was, not understanding that this is a change of vibrational shift. All that the Mayans talked about, all that the alignments are for. And yet there will be human beings, because it's changing, who will yell from the rooftops, beware, beware, the end is near. And I would like to tell you something. In some ways, it is the end of old consciousness. It'll take a while. Blessed are the gardeners in the room. <laughs> who till the soil slowly, solving their own puzzles as they go, grabbing the seeds of truth of the benevolent God who loves you, knowing full well as they look up into the sky and thank God for their lives, why they're here and what they're doing. As they look down at the soil and plant the seed of divinity, Gaia holds their hands and says thank you. And the full circle occurs to your ancestors who did much the same thing. Understanding the energy of the earth was part of you. Leave here differently than you came. Know that there is a puzzle at hand and you are solving it. Know that God loves you. Know that the overwhelming attitude of creation is benevolence. Understand that this is the guiding force. When you, when you have a vibration that raises higher, you're more in touch with the benevolence of guidance. And that is why things get better. You're closer to the family. And that's my message. If you really accept this message, you will never be the same. For you will understand you are never alone in anything, ever. That's the challenge. <laughs> Become multidimensional and meet the ones around you. Let them hold your hand. Live longer. And so it is.